All right, great question, Colleen. I love playing the what if situation. So let's say you have your first call this week, Sunday at 8.30. What is the necessary tech? You're already using Zoom, you're comfortable with Zoom. All you really need to do is grab the Zoom link and have a way that people can access it. So you can add it into Mighty Networks as an event. That way people see it If you, because you are going to use Mighty Networks. They can um, check the box that says, yes, I'm going, just like you guys can do. So for instance, if I click on events right here and there we go. Oh, let's do past. Here we go. So here, any of these events, you can, when you're setting it up, you can choose online event. So if I click edit right here, you'll see at this top line, I choose online meeting. Those are the other choices. So local event, live chat, um, online meeting, or live video right there because you can use StreamYard and you can stream right into Mighty Networks, which is also a cool feature. But right here is where you put the Zoom link. So you can just pop it right in there. And if you're using Mighty Networks, it makes it super easy. And come September 17th, the events section and the scheduling of events section is about to get incredibly cool. So let me go back. Let's find your question again. But the other thing that you can do is just send an email in Kajabi. So if you want to let people know, hey, here's the link for this week's meeting, just make an email. So I don't need to go find your question. Let me show you what that looks like. So here we are. We're on my test site in Kajabi. I just click on marketing. And you can make your reminder email as fancy as you would like or as simple as you would like. So when marketing opens, come on. Slows down a little bit when I have Zoom going. Then I click on email campaigns right here. And if it's something as simple as sending out a reminder like, hey, the Zoom call is Sunday at 8, at 830, I would say send it out at about 6.30 or 5.30, so two to three hours before the event. Right here, you can click on email broadcast. And when this opens, you could, you can use the visual editor, which are all of these. So they're all on the same framework. They're not different, just some of them Kajabi designers kind of just gave you a leg up in terms of designing the template or you can just use classic editor. So I use the classic editor most often for stuff like that. So call reminder, Sunday 8.30, click create. And I tend to take the time to write one thorough email and then I save it as a draft and then I clone it and send it out each week. So. Here, you would choose the people that own the offer that you have. So you can click custom segment. You would search on your membership. So you would say um, offer has any of these offers. You would choose your membership. Oh, mem. There we go. So we'll choose um, Alicia's membership here. We'll click apply. It's going to be zero because this is my test site. So yeah, there, zero. Um, but we'll click Save and Continue here. I will write in here Template Call Reminder. Here, we can choose Personalize, say First Name. Here is the Zoom link for our call at 8.30 p.m. EDT. And then I would make a button in the URL, put in your um, Zoom link right there. Say, click here to log in to call. I would have it open in a new window. Change it to your hex code color right there. Looking forward to seeing you. Just like that, 
click Save and Continue. Here, you can send a test email right up here. You just enter in the email that you want it to go to, click Send Preview. Always a good idea to test that. You can see it right here. You click Save and Continue. Right here. So it's not going to let me send this because it's the test site. So what you will see on your screen is send now, schedule it, or save as a draft. Like I said, I would save it as a draft. I would go in, clone it, and then schedule the email to go out. So I can just click save and edit later. It will go right in here. You can see if I click on draft, it will show me all of my emails that are in draft mode right here. And then I can just simply go in, edit it when I'm ready to send it, and off it goes. So I would not, you can also post the link um, in the product if you want to, but I would say if it's a membership, people are going to be learning how to become familiar in terms of log into Mighty Networks, check Mighty Networks, RSVP because then Mighty Network sends them a reminder with all the information and then sending an email reminder two to three hours out from the call. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. I am happy to answer them. Bye.